Hi, my name is Ina and I specialize in the practical application of the human design knowledge in career and business. Not just knowing your human design, but living it. And today I'd like to talk about uh, your profile and what does it mean specifically for you in the business context. So what is a profile? If you run your human design chart, you can find your profile next to your human design type. And what is a profile? A profile describes your energetic expression, how you interact with the outside world. And you might be thinking, what does my profile have to do with my business? And here is your answer. Your human design profile can tell you loads of information about your personal brand, about your positioning, and you know how important that is. Usually we have to think about what is my personal brand about, how to build a positioning that uh, stands out. But guess what? Your human design body graph already has answers to all those questions. Moreover, it can give you some tips about your content strategy. What should you be talking about? What type of content to create to stand out and so that it is in alignment with who you are and it's effortless. It's a natural expression of who you are. So as you can see, your human design profile is incredibly interesting and valuable for you in the business context. All right, let's get started. The official human design name of this profile is the Martyr Heretic. Translating it into the business language, the word martyr I would replace with the word experienced and the word heretic with crisis manager. An experienced crisis manager. This is how your clients really see you and this is a part of your personal brand you definitely want to emphasize and advertise in your business, especially in your positioning and content creation. So what is the life path of the profile 3-5? From an early childhood, people with the profile 3-5 are very restless, rebellious and just too unconventional, quite different from the majority. They say the type of kids who have ants in the pants. They need to know it all, try everything out, test what works and what doesn't and break things down possibly to get to the root cause. Knowing that fire burns is not enough for them, they need to touch it. To know for sure. People with the profile 3-5 never play by the rules. Why? Because that is simply too dull and boring. They need their own lessons and their own experiences. And because they never conform and in a way always go against the system, go their own way, they are faced with a number of challenges, mistakes, misfortunes, failures, which sometimes may feel disappointing but we'll get to that later. This is how the life of a 3-5 profile looks like. While the majority of people go straight from point A to point Z, profile 3-5 will go from point A through points C, D, E, F, G to point Z. And when you look at this from the outside, you might think, why complicate your life so much? There are much easier ways, but here is why. What most people can't get their head around is that when the profile 3-5 is going through all those points C, D, E, F, G, they are collecting invaluable experiences, connections, opportunities, and most importantly, lessons, which later on will help them find unorthodox and very practical solutions to problems. This is what makes a profile 3-5 a trustworthy authority. We just buy into their practical solutions. Why? Because we trust people with the profile 3-5 and get attracted to them like bees to flowers. The interesting part is that profile 3-5 might not always be aware of their attractiveness and magnetizing nature. This is because this part of them is subconscious. Something that a profile 3-5 is definitely aware of is their trial and error and their thirst for adventures. There is just one disclaimer to keep in mind. People with the profile 3-5, you can only be seen as influential leaders and problem solvers under one condition. This is when you don't get into the why life is so unfair to me mode. 
the moment you start to think that something is wrong with you because the world is against you, the moment you get pessimistic and start comparing yourself with others, this is when you can easily fall into depression and lose that impactful image and leadership style your clients buy into. Therefore, your attitude is key. Your optimism, sense of humor, irony are your best friends. When life is bombarding you with failures and mistakes, just smile back and ask, what else have you got for me? Also, start valuing yourself more for your superpowers. And trust me, you have a lot of them. Your adaptability, your resilience and your wisdom. This is not something that a lot of people have. These qualities are incredibly valuable in career and business as they will help you overcome the hardest times and give you power to survive when most people give up. Now a few points about a profile 3.5 in business. Profile 3.5, this is your call to action. You absolutely need to monetize your experiences, your invaluable lessons and solutions that cost you a lot of pain, trial and error. Build your content strategy around storytelling. Make people trust you and fall in love with you through your personal stories. Be honest and tell people about your mistakes, failures and disappointments. I think this is the best way to resonate with your target audience. Secondly, since one of your natural business trends is being non-conforming, you kind of always go against the grain, emphasize how your solutions are different from anything else that is on the market. Emphasize that practical and individualistic, untraditional approach to the problems you solve. Again, draw people's attention to your unique experiences. My next business advice is probably a little weird, but Do not be afraid to show your looks, your face and your body, as they are incredibly attractive and magnetizing. This is very helpful in marketing. There is something quite seductive about your looks. And this may be an additional advantage for your business. I really like this this marketing advice that if you want people to buy from you, make them fall in love with you. This is definitely a good advice for the profile 3.5. And finally, something very important. Due to your subconscious fifth line, you'll be attracting a lot of projections in your life and more specifically in business. This is when people see in you someone they want to see, but this is not necessarily who you really are. You need to be aware of these projections. Hence, my most important business advice for you, set expectations when you start selling something or working with your clients. Be crystal clear about what you can and can't do. This will really help you discern from those false projections which are not reflecting who you really are. If you want to understand more details about your chart and what does it mean for you in the business context, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram where I post daily human design content for business and also where you can ask me your human design related questions and book a session if you are interested. See you in my next profile series.